Now, what this method does is it still computes uh, and updates A one column at a time, leaving all of the other columns alone. And it computes R one column at a time. During the kth iteration, you focus on AK. Everything to its left has been completely finished. Everything to its right has not been touched. Everything in R uh, to the left of the kth column has already been finished. Everything to the right has not yet been computed. And in the current iteration, we just fill in the next column of R and we overwrite AK with QK. Okay. Now, there's a variation on this that you can um, describe, that we're going to describe now, and that is it goes as follows. Let's go back to the beginning here. You have A0 sitting here, we have A1 sitting here, and we have A2 sitting here. Okay? Now, in the first iteration, we compute row 0, 0, the length of A0, and then we divide by it, computing Q0. And then we move on. Hmm. What if, as soon as we actually have computed Q0, we, comp we compute all of these coefficients right here? We can do that, because these are just the dot products of Q0 with A1, Q0 with A2, K, Q0 with a and minus 1, which is sitting in our matrix here. So we could go ahead and compute all of these, and that also means that we could then go and subtract the component in the direction of Q0, not just off of the next column, but off all of the columns. And then we get this becomes minus rho uh, 0, 1 times Q0 minus rho 0, 2 times Q0 and so forth, and minus rho 0 and minus 1 times q0. Okay? And then what we can do is compute the length of this vector, compute q1, and then subtract, compute all of these entries in this row of, q, uh, of r, and then subtract that component not just off the next column, but off of all of them. Okay. And you can see that that actually performs the exact same computations as the modified Gram-Schmidt algorithm that we have here. It just rearranges the order in which the computations happen. The algorithm that implements that idea um, goes as follows. It starts at the top computing the length of AK. It then overwrites AK with QK. Now it can do that because previous iterations had already subtracted out all of the components in the directions of the previous Qs that had overwritten the previous columns of A. So we can just go directly to scaling it. Okay. And then we can say for i, let's see, we could say for, I think we should call this j to from k plus 1 through n minus 1, we want to compute the rest of the coefficients in this row. And then we want to subtract that off of the rest of the columns. And then we don't need to do this at the bottom of the loop. Okay, and you can see how this particular algorithm is actually equivalent to what we had before. And what does it do? Okay. It, every time it hits a new column, it already has been updated 
with the um, component orthogonal to the previous cues. It then goes and it's one at a time computes a new coefficient in the appropriate row and subtracts out the component corresponding to that coefficient. Okay, so let's play with this just a little bit more. Notice that we can take this loop and we can first have a loop that computes all of the coefficients and then have a loop that loops over all future columns and subtracts out the component in the direction of the current Q that was just computed right here. Okay, so what does that look like? We take this out and we say for J equals K plus 1 through N minus 1, we um, take A sub J and we update it by subtracting out the component in the direction of QK. Okay? Now why is that beneficial? Well, let me erase this right here to give myself some room. If you think about it carefully, this right here is really the computation of rho k comma k plus 1 through rho k n minus 1 being computed as the multiplication of the transpose of the kth column, which really is qk, let's make that explicit, times the matrix of the future columns. Okay. So what that means is that instead of writing a loop and doing this one at a time, we can actually do this as a row vector times a matrix multiply to compute all of these coefficients simultaneously. All of these coefficients right here. Okay. And then if you look at this loop right here, this loop right here can be orchestrated as the updates of all future columns Subtracting off of those columns will make that a becomes and then the negative of the kth column in A, but remember that's been overwritten by QK, times um, rho k, k plus 1 through rho k and minus 1. Okay, now what is that? This here is a matrix being updated by taking that matrix and subtracting off a column vector times a row vector. That's a rank 1 update. That's an operation we've seen before. Okay, so now we can formulate this whole thing as a row times a matrix multiply followed by a rank 1 update. And, you know, strictly speaking, I probably should have called this AK because, remember, QK overwrote AK. And once we have that, we can actually nicely formulate the algorithm again using our flame notation without uh, exposing all of these nasty indices. So what we've done here is we've slowly morphed the classical Gram-Schmidt algorithm into the modified Gram-Schmidt algorithm and then eventually morph that into still the modified Gram-Schmidt algorithm but formulate it so that the computation can be nicely expressed in terms of a row times matrix multiply followed by a rank 1 update.